came home, reported her 15-year-old son was supposed to be home, caused some frantic moments there. We conducted not one, but two or three searches just to make sure that there was nobody in the house. And we confirmed nobody was in the house, and a short time later, the son was located at a friend's house. Fire crews brought the fire under control at about 1 o'clock this morning, but officials still are not releasing any word on a cause or how much damage the fire caused. Above the island on Roycroft Boulevard shortly after 2 this morning, fire officials say an Amherst police officer arrived in time to help the homeowner who was struggling to put out the blaze himself. It saw an elderly gentleman uh, in the garage trying to attempt to even fight the fire. They pulled him out. As you can see, we have heavy fire conditions right now. We also have exposure problems. Uh, as you can see, uh, we haven't really uh, contained the fire. It's still uh, somewhat out of control. But crews did bring the fire under control about an hour later. Investigators suspect the blaze may have started because of a wood-burning stove, but the cause is still being investigated. Nobody suffered any injuries. In Niagara County. And Tatera Sheila Mahoney is off today. Our top story this morning, flames ripped through an Amherst home. Here's what fire officials believe happened. The fire started in a wood-burning stove inside this home on Roycroft Boulevard at about 2 this morning. We understand a woman and man were inside at the time of the fire, but police say the Smiths managed to escape safely. Firefighters had a hard time battling the blaze. It was a fierce fire. This Amherst police officer was the first person on the scene. Uh, upon my arrival, there was flames about 15 to 20 feet up above the roof. A uh, female who lived here, an older lady, that was coming out, and the older gentleman was in the garage trying to get his garden hose out. Uh, was heading back into the house, went in through the doorway inside the garage towards the kitchen, and I got him out and uh, just made sure that all the people in the, both sides of the, the houses on each side of this one were evacuated. Very heavy fire conditions. Uh, you can see the flames very visible for a couple blocks away. Um, the gentleman is out, and uh, right now we're just trying to extinguish it at this time and confine it. Only one nearby house suffered exposure damage to the siding. At least one person...